Used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up or laughed them off. Sometimes both, but we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars, as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years, even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching, bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know. That ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be. When it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. Charles, any luck finding our mystery woman? Word is she's been stirring up trouble just outside the city in a town called Lexington. Well, then that's where we begin our search. I'll meet you there.
Easy now. Nothing to fear. Have you found her? Uh, she's made camp not too far from here. Excellent. Well, the sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this cold. I am afraid I have some bad news, sir. Oh? 
Braddock is insisting I return to service under him. I've tried to beg off to no avail. No doubt he's still angry about losing Pitcairn. To say nothing of the shaming we gave him. Do as he asks. In the meantime, I'll work on having you released. I'm sorry for the trouble. Not your fault. We're too late. Fire's only just been snuffed. Snow recently disturbed. She's close. Bollocks. Tracks are fresh. They must be hers. Mm. Seems she took to higher ground. Out of the snow and into the trees. Come back! Do you return to Braddock, Charles, before he grows suspicious? I can handle things from here. But, sir! But nothing! Go! Stop running! I only wish to talk! I am not your enemy! Please just hear me out! God's woman! Only let me speak! Enough with these games! Try my patience, woman! Are you touched in the head? Me? Hatham. I come in peace. Why are you speaking so slow? <sighs> Sorry. What do you want? Well, your name, for one. I'm Gadzi Zio. Well, pleased to meet you. God, God's day. Just call me Zio. Dio. Zio. 
idea. Now tell me why it is you're here. Where did you get this? From an old friend. I've only seen such markings in one other place. Where? Well, it is forbidden for me to speak of it. I saved your people. Does this mean nothing to you? Look, I am not the enemy. Close to here, there is a hill. Meet me there, and we'll see if you speak the truth. That town hosts soldiers who seek to drive my people from these lands. They're led by a man known as the Bulldog. Edward Braddock. You know him? He is no friend of mine. Every day, more of my people are lost to men like him. Then I suggest we put a stop to it. Together. What do you propose? That we kill Edward Braddock. First, we have to find him. I don't trust you. I know. Yet you remain. But I might prove you wrong. It will not happen. So you say. So I know. Yet, I remain. Wait here. A Mohawkman is likely to raise suspicions, if not muskets. This is hardly the first time I've been amongst your people. I can handle myself. I hope so. I can't stand being quartered there. The endless crashing of the waves. The sting of the salt in my eyes. And the goddamn gulls shrieking and shitting everywhere. You're sure that's where we're going? Aye. The Bulldog's putting together another expedition. That's what they're calling them now. Expeditions. Aye. Smart too. Slap a fancy name on something and all evil is excused. Positions. Wonder what Braddock intends to do about it. He's already left for the advance camp. I'll wager our little holiday here is just about ended. We'll be marching south before weeks end. Oi! Where are you going, Cully? Me? No, the other cock Robin. Well, I, uh... I was leaving. Oh? And now? Well, now... I'm going to feed you your teeth. And you were worried I was going to be the problem?
nothing. Here. This should stop the bleeding. That wasn't necessary. But thank you. We should move on. Meet me at Braddock's camp when you're ready. Use the snowstorm to mask your approach. Having second thoughts? Hardly. But I'll have to approach this carefully. Go on then. I'll keep watch from here. Whiskey, a couple of dozen new uniforms, boots, and leather for patching, blankets that can't feed for the horses. What else? That's it. That's all there is. I like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. There will be no truce. 
Damn it! Why, George? What reason did he give? He said a diplomatic solution was no solution at all. That allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict. One in which they now have the upper hand. There's merit to those words, as much as I hate to admit it. Still, can't he see this is unwise? He doesn't fit well with the soldiers. We're far from home with our forces divided. Worse, I fear Braddock's bloodlust makes him careless. It puts the men at risk. I'd rather not be delivering grim news to mothers and widows because the bulldog wanted to prove a point. Where is the general now? Rallying the troops. And then it's on to Fort Duquesne, I assume? Eventually. The march north will surely take time. I try, Kelly. I know, my friend. I know. That map will surely be of use. I need to find it.
Never mind. What news? Braddock has left to rally his troops. They're marching on Fort Duquesne. It'll be a while yet till they're ready, which gives us time to form a plan. No need. We will ambush him here near the river. Go and gather your allies. I will do the same. I will send word when it is time to strike. In the cold, cold ground. Here, here. Hard at work, I see. How did you? <laughs> it is time. We've set up camp to the north. Meet me there. Gentlemen, let us away.
First it was too cold. Now it's too goddamn hot. And humid too. As I eat swamp, I tell you. Uh, to say nothing of the mosquitoes. Warm weather and bugs are soon to be the least of our worries. What? You mean the bulldog? <laughs> Please. We'll be in that one's beef soon enough and on to the next. Where's your boy Lee gone off to? Returned to finish out his service under Braddock. I imagine the Bulldog's none too pleased after the stunt we pulled. Pleased to spin a tale of my incompetence and beg forgiveness. He is away with words, especially when it comes to flattery. I expect he'll be welcomed back with open arms. Which would give us a man inside. Precisely. Unless you've underestimated our enemy. If I have, Charles will sense it first and make his escape. He is more clever than you think. When this is done, I'm taking a week in New York. It's high time I went and saw the sights. Of empty whiskey bottles and women's breeches, no doubt. <laughs> what other kinds of sights is worth seeing? I see you've been busy. All these men are from many different tribes, united in their desire to see Braddock sent away. The Abenaki, the Lenape, the Shawnee. And you? Who do you stand for? Myself. What would you have me do? Will you help the others to prepare? Follow. Everything all right, sir? Just savoring the moment. No doubt, many wonder why it is we've pushed so far west. These are wild lands as yet untamed and unsettled. But it shall not always be so. In time, our holdings will no longer suffice. And that day is closer than you think. We must ensure our people have ample room to grow and further prosper. Which means, we need more land! The French understand this, and endeavor to prevent such growth. They skirt around our territory, erecting forts, and forging alliances. Awaiting the day they might strangle us with the noose they've built. This must not come to pass. We must sever the cord, and send them back! This is why we ride. To offer them one last chance, the French will leave, or they will die! Now's the time to strike. Wait. To scatter the expedition is not enough. We must ensure that Braddock falls, else he's sure to try again. I'll disguise myself as one of his own and make my way to his side. Your ambush will provide the perfect cover for me to deliver the killing blow. signal there in front of us the woods too thick at this rate it'll be days before we reach Duquesne we should follow the river instead the troop would be exposed there we must maintain the kill them get in
nearest home. It's all mud and bugs and monsters. I'm telling you, things. we've had the car too high. The ground is uneven. It's dangerous. Hidden. One false move and the whole thing is... With a French pushback, there'll be a lot of opportunities for us up here. You are grateful to have served. General! I'll not tolerate doubt amongst those I command, nor sympathy for the enemy. I've no time for insubordination. He paid for his treachery, as all traitors must. If we are to win this war against the French, nay, when we win this war, it will be because men like you obeyed men like me and did so without hesitation. We must have order amongst our ranks and a clear chain of command. Leaders and followers, without such structure, there can be no victory. Am I understood? Edward. Not so fun on the other end of the barrel, is it? Sir. Where are you off to, Edward? I never took you for a coward, Edward. Come on, then! Such arrogance. I always knew it would be the end of you. Is the end of you. Don't. Hurry before he gets away! Death opens a door. Nothing personal. Well, maybe it is a little personal. Been a pain in my ass after all. But we are brothers in arms. Once, perhaps. No longer. Do you think I've forgotten what you did? All those innocents slaughtered, and for what? It does not engender peace to cut your way to resolution. Wrong. Whether we applied the sword more liberally and more often, the world would be a better place than it is today. In this instance, I concur. Farewell, Edward. Now I have 
upheld my part of the bargain, I expect that you will honor yours. Follow me. No. No! You seem disappointed. I thought that I held a key that would open something here. This room is all there is. I expected more. What do they mean? It tells the story of Yotzitzizu, who came into their world and shaped it for what life might come. She had a hard journey, fraught with great loss and peril. But she believed in her children and what they might achieve. And though she is long gone from the physical world, her eyes still watch over us, her ears still hear our words. Her hands still guide us, and the love still gives us strength. You have shown me great kindness, dear. Thank you. I... I should go. Master Kenway, did you find it then? It was not the right place. The others are waiting for you. Gentlemen, please sit. I fear our temple was no more than a painted cave. Although it did contain precursor images and script, which means we are close. Not close enough, it seems. We need to redouble our efforts and expand our order and establish a permanent base here. Although the site eludes us, I am confident we will find it. Sleuth. Here, here. Furthermore, I believe it is time we welcome Charles into our fold. He has proven himself a loyal disciple and served unerringly since the day he came to us. He should be able to share in our knowledge and reap all the benefits that such a gift implies. Are any opposed? Very well. Charles, come, stand. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order and all that for which we stand? I do. ...and never to share our secrets nor divulge the true nature of our work. I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost. I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. Together, we will usher in the dawn of a new world... ...one defined by purpose and order. Give me your hand. You... ...are a Templar. May the Father of Understanding guide us. 
May the Father understand us. Wait, what? Great. What? You're helping the enemies the whole time. What? <laughs> My mind was blown. I was like, no. And this is when a lot of people quit. They stop playing. You all saw that, right? Wow. Wow, indeed. The key must be the amulet Haytham took from London. We might know what it looks like, but we're no closer to finding it. Desmond, you need to keep going. Hey, he's your ancestor, too. Why don't you hop in the Animus? Really? That's your response? It's like dealing with a six-year-old. What is wrong with you, Desmond? You want to know what's wrong? I'm sick of being treated like I'm not even here. Desmond, do this. Desmond, do that. Desmond, you better figure things out because the sun is going to turn us all to ash. And I know I was really nice to you, but actually I'm just another Templar plot twist. And yes, I would like very much for you to be controlled by a magic space wizard so that you can murder me. So there's your answer. I'm sick of being a goddamn pawn. I thought it might be different with you. I mean, you're my father, but turns out you're no better than the fucking Templars. <laughs> You ever equate me to those bastards again? You hear me? Everything I do, everything I have done, has been for you. Maybe I pushed a little too hard, asked a little too much, but try and remember exactly what's at stake here. You need to get it together, kid. We're running out of right. time. Right, that was unusual. Well, I'm just gonna pretend that this never happened and get back to bringing everyone up to speed on where we stand. The news isn't good. It appears this temple is powered by a collection of, um, well, I guess they're batteries. You found one on your way in, but there aren't any more, at least not down here. Any idea on where we can find replacements? Not yet, so I intend to tiptoe into the Abstergo database. Now, if I can cross-reference these particular devices with their database, then maybe we'll get lucky. See what you can do. Obviously. Anyway, Desmond, you can either take a look around here or we can head back to the Animus. I love Shada Rebecca. That's so funny. Focus, please. Yeah. Yeah, good old Clay, man. He had my back. What the hell? Creepy ghost person. I hate when they do that. Just walking around and I'm seeing things. But yes, hate them as a traitor. He's a traitor and he was we, we just helped him or we lived the memories of him building the Templar Order in America. Alright, what do you want, creepy ghost person? Alright, here goes. Undan needs a rohead stun you. 
Awira awa unde yar don jadagun. Tone were the nagara de. Desajera ne rot niha. Nexi yate hua yata nekera. As it gone to jajera oni. Nexi ya o tena de gari wastaque. A gungwe that soon a wahuan nor don quidzi neot nesago de ogunga. Zewajera sri at dizaks ne hatham. Raganerun quaque unte zinito guenu. Nexi o hondo yo ha wittun yat de haganeraque. Zinuer o jokwa templar al guego tadinya rodar hooks. Ne on ha at getsanis. Zigat get soon a rian a higunsa gandanu a got gato zine saga rasconex. One day star. It really doesn't like beginnings, is what I'm realizing here. <laughs> it just doesn't like beginnings. It keeps performing first time setup, which is not right. So honestly, like it I like it too much to care. I really do. I like it way too much to care. I need more water bottles though. Dinner time, that means I can go feed the cats. I'll be right back. <laughs>
used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up or laughed them off. Sometimes both, but we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call Pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars, as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years, even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching, bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him, to Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered... When I heard it, I was going to get rid of it. I'm going to get rid of it. Zora, go hard. Is it as a dot? Aska, Degani, Ansan, Gayeri. Aska de wat nyawe. Oh, I can't even go hard at it. I'm a Junior, so I'm going to go to the US.